Hey folks, it's Neely. Today, we're going to get you set up with Borderless Windowed Project 1999. Now, you may be like me, you might be using two monitors, or maybe you like to be able to alt-tab quickly between the game and, and something else like Spotify or a podcast or, you know, whatever. And you find that to be a bit cumbersome when it comes uh, to the EverQuest Titanium client. And I know it's been an issue for me. Uh, when I first started out, I liked to play windowed because I, I, I'm always switching over to my second monitor. And I found myself repeatedly throwing my mouse cursor off the screen when I'd be trying to control my uh, camera. So really, uh, really annoying. Not anything you know, that prevents you from playing the game, but it did lead me to wanting to try to find a solution. And... The internet provided so let's begin and uh, before we do know that right below this video is all the links that you will need to get these files so feel free to jump ahead if you want to uh, but this is where we're gonna start so I started looking for one of those files and I found that through reddit here on the p99 reddit subreddit I found this post with this particular user below linking to a GitHub repository. Thank you, Cannibal Quackery, for doing that. And that led me to this repository from Andrew MD5 and his application, Borderless Gaming. Now, like the other files from the previous videos we've done, I have ran these files through Casper Sky, and these are the files that I use currently for myself uh, I've used this for about a month had no issues it's very low impact on your system incredibly easy to set up so I highly recommend if you're looking for this borderless windowed solution uh, give this a try see what it does for you uh, I used WinEQ years ago and it came with its own weird glitches and issues um, but so far this has been perfect so if that sells you please go ahead and find this borderless gaming 9.5.6 admin setup depending on when you're looking at the video there might be a newer version uh, just keep an eye out for the admin setup.exe click on that that's going to download and in your download folder you'll see this setup file you're going to click on that yes I want this to make changes I accept you will want to add this to your desktop or an easily found place because you will have to uh, run this before you run EverQuest to get the benefit every single time that is so next we extract yes start borderless gaming yes and I've kind of cheated you can see that uh, Mine's still showing for my EverQuest. So I'm going to demonstrate for you how we do this. So with this borderless gaming app open, you're going to go ahead and double click on your launch titanium. And I run this all as administrator, just so you folks know. Uh, if you do see any compatibility issues, just make sure to switch those to admin. Patience. I am going to look for EverQuest and here it is right here. We're going to then click that arrow and boom. You can see now we no longer have that bar. It's centered in my screen and we're good to go. I can even drag my mouse completely off. As you can see, I'm actually clicking around inside OBS on my other screen, but it stays right there, no problems. And uh, that's it, pretty simple, right? If for some reason you run into any issues, please feel free to add a question in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them, test some things, see if we can't get it working for you. Uh, again, this is on Windows 10 with the Project 1999 EverQuest Titanium. Uh, it's been great uh, chatting with you. And if you guys have any questions or would like to request some additional videos, please feel free to do so. I look forward to uh, making them for you. Again. This is Neely. Hope you folks are having a good one.